Hello, and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Covering, the only YouTube channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse, but actually enjoy it. And today, we're going to talk about waste disposal. In particular, human waste disposal, which is an important thing because uh, once this world as we know it comes to an end, you're still going to have to deal with that. And I have a book. I wish you luck in trying to find it. Uh, it's a, probably the, one of the best books I've ever read in my life. It's called The Human Newer Handbook. And I don't know if you can see that. It's by, who's it by? J.C. Jenkins, The Human Newer Handbook. I got this in 1994 from Loom Panics Unlimited. And I looked them up recently. they out of business, been out of business for probably 15 years. And no one has taken over. So whether or not somebody else is printing this, I couldn't tell you. On the back it says, if you can't flush it, or don't want to, what can you do with it? Well, we're going to answer that right now. I highly recommend the book, though. But this little bit of information can get you started on the road of at least understanding what's, what this is all about. Here is my toilet. I keep it covered so when company comes over, they don't know what it is. Just a little rug. And all it is, is a box with a toilet seat on it. Now, this is based on a five gallon bird seed bucket or paint bucket, whatever you call it. Hush up! But anyways, uh, because uh, uh, the bucket is kind of high, it's a little uncomfortable, so I put this board there just to raise my, my floor up in the front of it. To empty this, all you gotta do is pull the bucket out. And I'll wash this bucket just for this video. I never wash it because, you know, what's the sense of washing something you're gonna poop in? But it's just a plain old five gallon bucket. You can take this out every day and put it in your compost pile, which is what I recommend. Back in the old days when they had laws regulating uh, toilets, uh, when my daddy was growing up, they had outhouses. An outhouse had to have a hole underneath it and it had to be so deep and so wide and all that. But burying poop is not a good solution. It just uh, makes a lot better sense to compost it. And you can use it just on fruit trees, but Honestly, you could use it on anything if you want. I, I, I don't use this on anything but fruit trees because uh, just because of the psychological impact of it. But anyway, this here next to it is the next thing we're going to talk about. And you can do a YouTube search. I mean, it's not a YouTube search. I don't think anybody's got a video. But you can do a Google search of family cloth because when the gas runs out, and the groceries runs out, toilet paper's gonna run out. Uh, family cloths are not normally something you buy from the store. These are just shop rags. I keep them just for that purpose. Everybody in the United States got 3,000 things in their closet that they don't wear. All you gotta do is cut some of that up when the SHTFs, and uh, that could be your family cloth. And this bucket is just for putting those in after they're used. I only put this up here for training purposes because I don't use these. Although, I probably should just to see what I'm going to have to deal with. This is my toilet paper here, in fact. Now, because I don't want to cut into this any quicker than I have to, I've got this here. And I don't know if you saw that. What's in here is actually this. Now, for a stockpile, if I was a millionaire... I probably wouldn't have this. I'd get Scott tissue because it's single ply and the rolls are heavier. So you get a thousand sheets to a roll. Even though it is single ply, it's still more efficient and it's more efficient on space. The, this amount of Scott tissue would probably be maybe 30% less. So you wouldn't have to have a, and this doesn't store here. I brought, I went to the store today and I got a couple of boxes. So I went ahead and got my other stash out and I went and got the case that I keep down here. This isn't something you have to rotate like you do food. Unless you, st if you're storing this in a hot attic, it'll get all moldy and smelly and, uh, I mean, I don't recommend that, but if you do that, you're going to have to rotate it. But anyways, that's, I think that's eight cases. Yeah, it's eight cases, 40 rolls per case. I think that if I was here by myself, this would probably last me two years. Wow. Yep, we're set. We're set for pooping. Oh, and here we go. Here's another thing I wanted to show you. Just these, and I don't even know if you can get these for the public. It's called Comfort Personal Cleansing. When a hurricane comes through here, we didn't have electricity or water for 30 days. 
And so the people came by and they gave us this box and told us this we could use this to take a bath. Well, I was taking a bath in the creek. I just go out there with a bar of soap and lay in the creek and get wet. In the toilet. Yeah. What? In the back of the toilet. Oh yeah, yeah. We were yeah, we we're using the water out of the back of the toilet to, to wash off too. Rachel was using that. I was going out in the creek. But this is Bath Essentials Cleansing Washcloths. There's a few cloths in here. It's eight of them, in fact, and it gives you a list of what to do with each cloth. It says use cloth number one for the face, neck, and chest. Use number two for the right arm, and so on and so forth. But anyways, the first time I used these, I got a rash, and I oh, was no. itchy and burning. Yeah. But the second time, I decided to just to uh, get some out a while back and see if they were still uh, wet or if they had dried out and they were still wet, and I used them, and it didn't make me have a rash. So... But I got two cases of these still, hmm. and they're set aside that, you know, if I'm hunkered down in my underground bunker somewhere that don't have any water, I can still take a bath, actually. <laughs> well, I think that's about it. I can't cover anything else. I think that, well, I will say this. A lot of people who are survivalists or preppers do take the time out to go get wow. some basic supplies. You know, and if you get, it, like, food or whatever. If you're getting foods that you do not normally use simply because they're a good survivalist ration, you need to use them just to familiarize yourself in advance so that when the end of this world as we know it comes, you're not sitting there staring at your supplies wondering what's, what's going to happen. And it's something as simple as a toilet. Everybody knows how to go to the toilet. But this is a change. We've got a box with a bucket in it. We're using it as a toilet, and I have been using this for, I don't know, a year or so. And uh, whenever there's no more toilets, I, it's not going to affect me. You know, that's not something that's psychologically going to hit me. You don't want everything in the world hitting you at once. If you can familiarize yourself with what life is going to be like after the collapse, then when the collapse comes, it, it may not have any effect on you. Yeah, hey, y'all get out of here. But anyway, that's it from sustenance and covering. How to use a toilet.